Welcome to week four of the P4G Draft League. Our opponent today is an old friend Galvanate and his New York Neubats. We are currently undefeated, but honestly, I don't think we deserve to win our last two games. We were either blessed by RNG or fortunate enough that our opponent misplayed. With that in mind, today I really want to put on a strong showing. That won't be easy though, as Nate has one of the better teams in the league in my opinion. For starters, Pre-Marina is absolutely insane in this low tier format, and you could argue it should even been banned. His team has insane bulk and utility with the likes of of Uxie and Kobalion who can set up rocks and gain momentum, Cyclozard to rapid spin, heavy hitters like his low tier Terra Captains, Flamigo and Electivire, and the number one Pokemon I hate facing the most in Draft League, Alolan Muck. This fast, heavy hitting, bulky team will be tough to take down, but we have some great players on our side. The sets will be on screen right now with a Pokebase down in the description below so you can see the EVs, but we are running Choice Banded Crawdon into a Primarina. Choice Banded Crawdon is capable of two hit KOing basically everything even Primarina if it's offensive. Life Orb Palma is doing great things here because of its speed and coverage. Fernandez really only needs Flying Stab to put in work and its speed tier will also be super helpful. I know Nate really likes his Calm Mind Primarina so AV Gudra with Acid Spray is here specifically to make sure it doesn't get out of hand. Mesprit is here to set up rocks and pivot into his physical offense while Vaporeon is here to keep the team alive and healthy and get Crawdon in with Flip Turn. If you go on to enjoy the battle, leave a like and subscribe as we are on our way to 1k subs. Shout out to my front office for the help and without further ado, let's hop into the game. Nate did actually bring a lot of what I expected him to bring. The Lycanroc might be the only thing I wasn't sure was going to come. That means he didn't bring the Cyclozar, the Mudsdale, the Flamigo was kind of scary. Even the Electifier was pretty scary as well, so that's okay as far as I'm concerned. I think the play is just to lead off with our Tornadus, to be honest. I don't see him leading off with the Lycanroc. If he leads off with the Lycanroc, it's going to be like Terra anyways, so we're just going to have to switch out into our Mesprit. But I think Tornadus is a pretty decent lead here, matches up pretty well against most of the things that would end up leading. So good luck, have fun to Nate, and uh, hopefully we're able to pick up another dub because that would mean we would go 4-0 to start the season which would be incredible. So let's see what he leads off with. He's going to lead off for Lissify. Okay, so he does lead off with this thing. Frick, I did not want to see that. I did not want to see that at all. I really don't think he's going to be Scarfed at all because Scarf just doesn't make much sense into a team with Hisu and Gudra. So we're going to go straight for the U-turn. Now let's see if I, I'm going to regret this. Let's see if I'm going to regret this. Hopefully he's just Terra Grass and not faster than me so I can just get a huge chunk of damage off of with the U-turn. Ah, he is Scarfed. Frick, uh, not, no, he's, he's Terra Rock. Is he Scarfed? This could be pretty bad. This could have been a pretty bad turn for us. He's not Scarfed. Okay, so U-Turn's going to do a decent chunk of damage. I could go Palmot, actually. I could end up going Palmot. Uh, it takes it worse than Mesprit does, but that would give me offensive pressure. Even if he crits me, it doesn't kill. And after that U-Turn, a Mach Punch would kill him if I needed to go for it. Because I could I could see him going for like a Trailblaze, to be honest. Um, so we're going to go Palmot. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about this play, but we are going to go Palmite, and hopefully it doesn't end up biting us in the butt. Hopefully. He's just going to set up his rocks. Okay. I can take that. Rocks are a little bit annoying, but I do have boots on Tornadus. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have boots on Tornadus, at least. can definitely see Trevenant or Uxie come in here. Um, that makes me want to pull a double out into my... Makes me want to pull a double out into my Crawdont. Because a Thunder Punch to Uxie, if it's just max HP, it's really not going to do that much. It's going to do like 30 something percent. And then it's just going to allow him to U-turn out on me. And I don't really want that. So, uh, actually, no. I am just going to fire off a Thunder Punch. I feel like it's sort of like a no drawback play here. He's going to stay in. Okay, he's dead. Alright, well, we get rid of this thing, which is super awesome. Because this thing really, really scared me. I was not expecting this thing to come. So, the fact that this thing is dead... Is awesome. This definitely also limits the amount of Pokemon he can go out into. Because, like, he could go um, Cabalion, but Mach Punch is going to do a ton. So, I kind of feel like he's going to be forced to go out into the um, Uxie. And I don't know exactly what I'm going to do about the Uxie because a Psychic will probably kill me, but we'll cross that bridge once we get there, I guess. Chest Beard. This guy. I'm half tempted to just go for a Mach Punch. I'll, I'll do 50% to it. But Mesprit, Mesprit is the better play for now. Mesprit is the better play for now, for sure. So let's go on to Mesprit. Let's see what he wants to go for. Um, maybe we'll see like an Iron Defense Body Press set. I guess that could be a thing. But I also expect just to see like a Volt Switch. That could definitely happen as well. He is, he is going to be the Iron Defense Body Press. Okay. Mesprit should be able to take this thing on uh, relatively well then. Relatively well. I'm even expecting him just to like not even stay in. 
I'm expecting him to like even switch out into uh, Alolan Muk because he did bring the Alolan Muk, right? He did bring the Alolan Muk, so I'm half tempted to, uh, that he's just gonna do that. Like he could have, he could have X Scissor, but I just don't see X Scissor doing the thing here. So I'm gonna get up my rocks. I'm gonna get up my rocks. I don't think he stays in here. He's just gonna stay in and click the body press. Okay. Um, the good thing with this is I do have pain split, so I can always like heal myself back up. I can always heal myself back up with pain split, so I'm not too concerned about it. He seems to be just like max defense, so he's probably gonna do around another 30% to me. I'm going to go for a pain split. Okay, he's got the iron defense. Um, I guess I'm a little bit scared, but that did like nothing to him. He's like probably like no HP invested at all. I really expected him to switch out into the muck after that or just go for another one, but it's okay. We're just gonna go for a... Um, we're just going to go for a Psychic then. So that did exactly 155 damage, right? Um, I'm going to go for another Psychic because I think we might be able to kill it. And uh, we can always get a Pain Split off on something else. So he's going to withdraw now. Okay, is he going to go out into the Muck? Goopy, that's the muck. Yeah, okay. Well, we need to save our Mesprit then. This thing is going to take rocks. Yeah. And uh, we need to save our Mesprit because I can still get a pain split on like forcing out a switch for this thing. My only issue is I don't really have a switch in for this thing. That's my problem. Knockoff is going to do a lot. I can't stay in and pain split. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go for the U-turn. I'm going to go for the U-turn. Let's, let's try to decide what we want to go out into. I don't think there's anything here that on that I can go out into that's a good switch in and that forces him out. So I'm going to go out into Palma. Sorry, Palma, you're going to lose your trusty little life orb, but it's just it just is what it is. I have to. I have to go for it. He's going to go for, straight for the poison jab, actually. Do we live? Okay, we do live that. No poison? No poison. Okay. Um, This is definitely going to be a Trevenant, I think. Either Trevenant or Uxie. I I feel like I just want to go for a Thunder Punch anyways, because if Trevenant comes in, I can then go for an Ice Punch, and if I have to lose it, I have to lose it. I'll find out if it's Scarfed at least, so that's what we're going to do. We're just going to go ahead and fire off a Thunder Punch. It does the most to Yuxi coming in as well. If it's like Max HP is doing about 40% with the Rocks and stuff, could be pretty decent damage. I do want to force damage on the Trevenant so that uh, I can clean up with Bandit Aqua Jet. So he's going to stay in, actually. Okay, this thing took a lot. All right, we're probably going to lose this thing, as he's going to go for another Poison Jab. We are going to lose it, but might have been worth it because uh, Alone Muck is super annoying all the time. Like always, every time. There's not a single time where Muck is not annoying. It's just annoying all the time. Um, it, it has to be Chrono. Uh, Gudra is going to allow the Cobalion back in. Well, actually, if Cobalion comes in, is that even that big of a deal? Like I have a Boots Tornadus. Like I really would not care about. Um, I really would not care about. Uh, Cobalion at all, and even my uh, Vaporeon and Mesprit are physically defensive, so they should be able to deal with it quite well. Uh, Earthquake should kill you from here. Like, I'm pretty certain I made it so it would 2 it KO a Spadef set. So, you should, I think, die. I'm gonna bank on it at least. I'm gonna go for the Earthquake. So, we should be able to take down the Muck, right? Yeah, alright, Muck down. Perfect. And that's a crit. Didn't matter. I think. Even if he's Fizzdev, I don't think. I don't think you live an earthquake from there. Like, I know I'm a Gudra and I'm not that strong, but yeah, I'm doing around like 30%, and I think you were lower than that, so. So we're gonna see the Morning Wood. All right, uh, he knows I'm Assault Vested. Uh, I should be able to take two Poltergeists from this thing. I'm pretty sure I would be able to. He's adamant, I probably don't, but I don't have a good switch into it anyways. The thing is, I don't really want to leave it chipped down, bro. I might have to just go Tornadus. Now, it doesn't get Shadow Sneak, so let's find out if he is Choice Banded then, shall we? Let's find out if he's Choice Banded. Because that's the only way you would kill my Tornadus, is if you are Banded. And probably figure out if he's scarfed as well. He's gonna go for the earthquake. Okay, that's a baller move, bro. I'm so good at this game, it's crazy. And do I wanna do I I should U-turn. This is the turn that I should U-turn and get in my This is the turn I should U-turn and get my guy in, my crawdon in. So 
So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for a U-turn. May have been a mistake, but there's no way he stays in with this. Yeah, because I was going to say, Blake Wind Storm kills you if you're max HP. So uh, let's go for a U-turn. In comes this guy. Okay. Now, Uxie is definitely going to be faster than my Crawdump because I just couldn't have made it faster without uh, going Jolly. And Jolly Crawdump is not a real thing. So that's that. We're going to go into it without any hesitation at all. If he goes for a U-turn, I am going to take a lot of damage, but I think it will be worth it. He might just be like max HP. This is a uh, Crab Hammer, I think. Because it's what does the most to Primarina, and if uh, Cobalion comes in, it also does a lot to it. So we're going to go for the Crab Hammer. He's going to go for a Draining Kiss. We should live this. Yeah, we do. Okay. Uh, maybe I should have knocked off then, but I, I, didn't, I didn't think he was going to stay in with this. Not going to lie. Did not think he was going to stay in. So Crab Hammer is going to come off. That's just going to drop. Okay, so I guess he wasn't very um, defensive on Uxie then. Okay. So I, I, clicking knockoff there realistically wouldn't have made that much of a difference. Um, because we ended up killing anyways. And I feel like if I was expecting a switch to come out, a Crab Hammer was the better move to click there. Alright, so this thing's going to come in again. And uh, he's going to find out that I'm Choice Banded. But I don't think that's much of a surprise. I think I will just make the play to go out into Tornadus again. I think that's what we do. We might go for a grass move, I think. I think a grass move is pretty likely here. Trick room. Okay, Nate, I see you. I see you, Nicholas. Why did I call you Nicholas? Nathaniel? Um, I'm going to go for the Bleak Wind Storm. Poltergeist. Okay. This shouldn't... Ooh, he misses. Ah, oh, that sucks. Did I miss two? All right, Karma. You know what? That's... The... I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. We both missed. I'm okay with that. He's going to go for the Poltergeist. And yeah, we're going to attack by our boots, but we should live this. We do live it, and we hit the Bleak Windstorm. Is this thing dead? It is dead. Okay, perfect. Um, that I feel like that was pretty balanced. He missed. I missed. You know, Pokey Gods got it right for once. But that just seems to be like adamant max attack. So, nothing crazy there. I think he has Cobalion and Primarina left, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he's gonna go into this thing. Mermillions. 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 Mermillion things. Um, do I wanna save this thing? I could save it for the Cobalion, but he's in range of Aqua Jet. But at the same time, it might be it might just be smart to, to, to save this thing. It might be smart just to U-turn out into Gudra. Let's find out if he's Scarf Free Marina. He's Calm Mind. Okay. This is why I have Acid Armor on my not Acid Armor, Acid Spray on my Gudra. Uh, I totally forgot about Trick Room being up. I was like, wait, why did I speed me? I totally forgot about Trick Room being up. So good thing I did U-turn because Sludge Wave would not have been the play there. Sludge Wave was not the play there ever. So we're going to go out into our uh, Gudra. We're going to go out into our Gudra. For sure. And um, his leftovers as well, right? Okay, so he might be like sub call Mind or something. If he, go, if he wants to go out into Cobalion this turn, I think that's okay because of Trick Room. Let me just double check how many turns of Trick Room. This is the last one. So actually, if he switches out right now, that's going to be a pretty good play on his part. If he if he Call Mines up again, I'll, I'll go for Sludge Bomb. I think Sludge Bomb is okay. For faster Sludge Bomb, that does a decent chunk. Do you get the Poison? No Poison. Okay. So he's just gone for the Call Mind again. So he's now at plus two. All right. He's now at plus two. I just need to get damage on him, on him, to be honest. If he's Draining Kiss, I I, I don't think he's going to be able to uh, do that much to me. So the play is just to go ahead and click Calm Mind now. Uh, Primarina is so scary, man. Especially in low tier. Like, this thing is so scary. This thing is so scary. So let's go for Nasus Spray and let's see what he clicks. I'm going to go for the Moon Blast. We should live this, right? Yeah, we do live it. Don't Special Attack drop me. Okay, perfect. So Acid Spray is going to come off. That's nice because he's going to be down at neutral. I don't think a pl another plus two Moonblast kills me. And I think the play is just to click Acid Spray again. This doesn't kill me, right? Does not kill me. No special attack drop. Okay, this Acid Spray brings him straight down to minus two. What this allows me to do next is going to uh, Tornadus and Sludge Wave and kill him. Because he should be at minus two now. Should be at minus two. If I'm not mistaken... Uh, yeah, you are uh, you are at minus two, so we're just gonna go ahead and click acid spray again. He's gonna switch out. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. 
Gonna go out into the chest beard. Takes absolutely nothing from that. Um, and I just go for an earthquake. I'm gonna iron defense. But my Tornadus is faster, so I think it's all going to come down to me being able to hit a Bleak Windstorm. Yeah, that doesn't kill. Is he weakness policy? That does seem to be weakness policy, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, but all I need is Tornadus, or, and even a Banded Aqua Jet should be able to kill you. I think even Banded Aqua Jet kills. He's going for the Body Press, obviously takes me out. Not, Never a question. Never a question. Um, I think I would kill. Actually, it's pretty close. So I think my first line, my first line of defense, my first play has to be to go out into this thing and hit a bleak windstorm. It's just, it's just what it is. If I hit a bleak windstorm, we win this game easy. So let's go ahead. Tornadus, please hit this bleak windstorm. I don't want any of this. Okay, he actually has vacuum wave. All right, I see you, Nate. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, is that a... Did I throw? Is that a problem? I don't think so, because I can just go out into this thing. Did I throw by going out? I forgot this thing got vacuum wave, to be honest. I forgot this was a new move that it learned. But we're going to go for the Scald. I think we're okay, but I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit scared. He's going to get Body Press. Doesn't kill me. So this Scald should pick you off. It does indeed pick you off. Okay. Now, the thing is, I the thing I can test with my uh, Vaporeon is how fast the Primarina is. Let's see how much he comes in at. Okay. This Primarina is a little bit scary. I'm not going to lie. I think I just have to try to get the Scald Burn. Because I don't want to flip turn, be faster, and then have to, like, sack something. Actually, I probably can do that. I can just... Let me let me see. Let me see if I'm faster or not. Next turn, I'll flip turn. Because if uh, my Vaporeon is faster, I'm not faster. Okay. And that just dies. Uh, I think I go Mesprit and I just spam Psychic. Psychic does 25% to a max HP Primarina, so... I think this is the play. Because I, I don't think he has Draining Kiss. I hope he doesn't have Draining Kiss. If he has Draining Kiss, I could actually just lose to this Primarina. Because this thing is too damn strong. This thing is just too damn strong. Oh, that lived on 1 HP. He's going to go for the Moonblast. Okay, we, we can pick it off with Aqua Jet. We can pick it off with Aqua Jet. Oh my god, this came down to a 1-0. That's crazy. We were so in the lead in this game. I think we, at one point we were up like 5-2. to two. And uh, this Primarina? This Primarina is a... Bro, Primarina is so strong. Holy smokes. But uh, GG to Nate. Assuming we don't misclick here. Um... I'm not trying to fuck around and find out if I'm faster or not, so I'm just going to go for a Bandit Aqua Jet. Should definitely kill this thing. This thing is at like 10% or less, uh, so should kill. We do kill it. Okay, an Aqua Jet, Crawdonk comes in clutch once again. Crawdonk really is the MVP so far this season. It's been crazy.